Hi students, today we shall start the 56 number video and the topic is same. We want to solve differential equation by using Laplace transform. So same topic, same teacher, same place. Now we start this problem. So using Laplace transform, find the solution of in, of the initial value problem. Y double dash minus 4Y dash plus 4Y equal to 64 sin twice t and y of 0 equal to 0, y dash 0 equal to 1. This is the initial condition. Now we want to solve this problem. So given since y double dash minus 4y dash plus 4y equal to 64 sin twice t. This is our given differential equation. Now taking Laplace transform on both sides, if we taking Laplace transform on both sides, then we get, what we get, this is L double, Y double dash 4 into L Y dash plus 4 into L Y equal to 64 into L sin twice T. We taking both sides on both sides by using Laplace transform and again it was given in last class if y double dash then it will be s square y bar minus s y of 0 minus y dash 0 we get this one for double dash we get this and minus 4 into y dash this is s y bar minus y of 0 we get this one plus 4 y means l y means y bar and this is 64 sin 80 means a by s square plus a square by using formula we get this one so our initial condition given the initial condition since y of 0 equal to 0, y dash 0 equal to 1. This is or these are the initial conditions. Now putting this initial condition in this given equation, s square y bar minus s y of 0. y of 0 means 0. y dash 0, this is 1. Minus 4 into s y bar y of 0, this is 0, plus 4y bar equal to, this is 8, 1 to 8 by s square plus 4. We get this one. Now, so taking y bar common, so y bar common means s square we get minus 4s plus 4 and y bar is common and this one taking on right hand side 1 plus 1 to 8 by s square plus 4 we get this one and this is nothing but our a minus b whole square we can write this is s minus 2 whole square y bar this equal to 1 plus 1 to 8 by s square plus 4 we get this one. Then y bar equal to y bar equal to 1 by s minus 2 whole square plus 1 to 8 by s minus 2 whole square s square plus 4. So we get this one. Just this one dividing on right hand side. This is y bar equal to 1 by s minus 2 whole square 128 by s minus 2 whole square plus s square plus 4. So this is no problem, but this is our main problem. Now we express this one in partial fraction. So we consider this is number 1. Now this is no problem, but this is our main problem. Now we express this expression in partial fraction. Let 128 by s minus 2 whole square s square plus 4 we express this one in partial fraction this is whole square given 
So this will be a by x minus 2, b by s minus 2 whole square and this is s square given this is cs plus d by s square plus 4 this is number 2 we consider now if we taking lcm of this s minus 2 whole square s square 4 or lcm then e into s minus 2 s square plus 4 b into s square plus 4 plus c s plus d into s minus 2 whole square so we get this if we taking lcm then s square s minus 2 whole square s square plus 4 or lcm and by rules of lcm we get this s a into s minus 2 s square plus 4 and this is s square plus 4 and this one cancel S C S plus D S minus 2 all is here. Now this LCM LCM cancel then 120 A equal to A S minus 2 S square plus 4 B S square plus 4 and this one C S plus D into S minus 2 all is here. This is we consider number 3. Now we want to find the values of A, B, C, D. So firstly putting S equal to 2. Putting S equal to 2. This implies left hand side remains same 128. This is 2 minus 2. 2 square plus 4. B into 2 square plus 4 c into 2 plus d this is 2 minus 2 whole square so this implies 128 2 minus 2 0 this whole family is 0 and this is b 4 plus 4 and this is 2 minus 2 0 this whole is 0 so this will be 128 8b and b equal to 128 by 8. 8 1 is 8, 8 6 is 48. Therefore, we get b equal to 16. Next, we putting s equal to 0. Putting s equal to 0 in equation 3, in equation 3, we get so what we get, if we putting S equal to 0, then we get left hand side 128 and this is A, A, S equal to 0, here 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So if we putting 0, A into 0 minus 2, 0 minus 2 plus uh, into, into 0 plus plus b into 0 square plus 4 plus c into 0 plus d into 0 minus 2 whole square we get this one so if we calculate we get this 128 remains same this is minus 8a this is 4b and this is 4b and this one 0 and this is 4 plus 4d we get this one now so we get this putting the value of b b we get 16 128 minus 8a 4 into 16 plus 4d so this is 128 this is 16 into 464 taking left hand side this is 64 minus 8a plus 4d and this will be uh, 64 minus 8a plus 4d and dividing both side by 4 this is 16 
minus twice a plus d. So this will be twice a minus d equal to minus 16. So we consider this is number 4 we consider. So up to this, this will clear. Solution is long but not difficult. Now putting the values of just we get the value of b we get and putting the value of b in equation number 3. Next, 3 implies, so we get value of b 16 and we get one relation twice a minus d equal to minus 16. Now we equating the coefficient this, putting this value here, 128 a, this is a, uh, we don't know the value of a, a s minus twice a, this is s square plus 4, so this one 3 implies, we have to write 3 implies, we calculate the 3 equation, and this is b, b means we know 16, the value of b is 16, s square plus 4, and this is c s plus d, and this is a minus b whole square, a square minus twice a b plus b square, we get this one. Now 128 remains same, this is multiplying a s cube plus 4 a s minus twice a s cube minus 8 a, we get this, uh, 8 a, this is 16 s square plus 64 plus c s cube 4 c s square 4 c s first multiply by c s 4 uh, c s cube 4 c s square 4 c s and multiplying by d plus d s square minus 4 d s plus 4 d we get this one now this implies 128 remains same and this 64 taking in left hand side minus 64 and uh, all the terms first we taking s cube common here s cube here s cube we get so we taking s cube common a plus c into s cube now we taking s square here s square here s square here s square and here we get s square. Taking s square common plus minus twice a plus 16, 16, this is 16, this is 16 and minus 4c and plus d, s square common. And next s common. Here we get s. This is 4a. 4a. And here we get s. 4c. And minus 4d. S common. And lastly we get minus 8a plus 4d. So last at last we get minus 8a plus 4d. We get this one. Now in right hand side s cube we get, s square we get, s we get and constant term we get. Now we want to find in left hand side also same. First 0 s cube, 0 s square, 0 s. Their sum is 0. 128 minus 64 is 64. This minus this 64. Then if we adding all of this, ultimately you get 64. And right hand side remains same. A plus C S cube minus twice A plus 16 minus 4 C plus D S square plus 4 A plus 4 C minus 4 D S and last one minus 8 A plus 4 D. So we get this one. Now if we equating, so if we equating we get, now we equating this s cube co coefficient is a plus c, here s cube coefficient is 0. So therefore we get a plus c equal to 0. 
and next s square coefficient is and here s square coefficient zero. So minus twice a plus sixteen minus four four c plus d equal to zero. And this is s coefficient is this and here s coefficient is zero. So four a plus four c minus four d this equal to zero. And the last one is minus eight a plus four d this equal to sixty four. We get this. Now this number we consider five. This is number six. This is seven. And this one eight. So eight implies if we solving eight dividing both side by uh, both side by minus four, then we get twice a minus d equal to minus sixteen. Suppose this is number nine we get. So again we solving this. We solving this one. So no need to multiply by minus also. The minus remains same. This is this one. So if we divide by four, then we get twice a plus d equal to sixteen. Now six implies. Six implies this six minus twice a plus d. We write down together. Minus twice a plus d together. Minus four c. Plus sixteen, we write in this way, and minus twice a plus d. Just we get sixteen. This value putting sixteen, and minus four c plus sixteen, we get this. Four c taking it right right hand side. Four c equal to sixteen plus sixteen is thirty two, and c equal to eight. We get. We get the value of c is eight. Again, a plus c equal to zero. Number five implies if we solving five, five implies then c a equal to minus c and just we get the value of c is eight. So we get the value of a also. The value of a is this one. Now nine implies minus twice a plus d equal to sixteen. Minus twice a plus d equal to sixteen. The value of a a is minus eight d equal to sixteen, and this is sixteen plus d equal to sixteen. Sixteen sixteen cancel. D equal to zero we get. So we get the values of b c d and a also. Therefore we get the values of a equal to Uh, minus eight b equal to sixteen c equal to what is the value of c equal to eight and d equal to this. So we get the values of a b c d. Now we putting the values of a b c d in equation number two. Now two implies in equation number two we get one twenty. One twenty eight, one twenty eight by s minus two whole square s square plus four. This equal to a. A means minus eight. Eight by s minus two plus b. B means sixteen by s minus two whole square plus c s a s and d zero. By s square plus s square plus four, we get this one. Or we can write minus eight by s minus two, sixteen by s minus two whole square, and eight s by s square plus four. We get this are the this is the partial fraction. From this we get this is like all of this putting in the equation number one. So. We we putting this value, this value putting in the equation number one. Now one implies y bar equal to one by s minus two whole square, and this whole value we get uh, minus we get minus eight by s minus two plus sixteen by s minus two whole square plus eight s by S square plus 
4. We get this one. Now, this and this, these two are like terms. So, 16 plus 1 is 17. 17 by S minus 2 whole square. 8 by S minus 2. And 8S by... 8 by this, this 8 is by s square plus 4. We get this one. This is our y bar. Taking L inverse on both sides, inverse Laplace transform on both sides. So this is 17 by s minus 2 whole square L inverse 8 by this is 8 by s minus 2 and this is L inverse 8s by s square plus 4 we get this one now so this is l inverse y bar means y and 17 is outside l inverse 1 by s minus 2 whole square and this is 8 is outside l inverse 1 by s minus 2 this 8 also outside l inverse s by s square plus 4 means 2 square. We get this. Now, we calculate this result here. No need to write several times. L inverse 1 by s minus 2 whole square. So, if we remove this 2, then this will be e to the power twice t. L inverse 1 by s square. And L inverse 1 by s square. Again, you know this formula, L inverse 1 by s to the power n, this is 2 to the power n minus 1 by factorial n minus 1. So, e to the power twice t, t to the power 2 minus 1 by factorial 2 minus 1. So, this is t e to the power twice t ultimately. 2 minus 1 is 1, this is 1, only you get t. So, this result is this. We are putting this ready-made result here. So, y equal to 17 t e to the power twice t and 8 this is our direct formula 1 by s minus a e to the power 8 t and this is s s square plus this cos twice t so this is cos twice t we get y equal to 17 t e to the power twice t minus 8 e to the power twice t plus 8 cos twice t and this is the big answer because this is the ending of the problem so solution is long but not difficult so just practice main medicine is practice without practice mathematics is very difficult so today stop here thanks